from Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. With Jack's special guests, Peter Laurie and Joni Summers. Brought to you by... Jello again. Jello with new fresh fruit taste in all 12 flavors. Ah, uh, fried chicken. And a wonderful new way to cook the rice that goes with it. Tomato flavored rice. Tart sweet flavor inside each fluffy grain. Watch, you'll see flavor gathering minute rice. Fluff with flavor as no other rice can. Bring one cup of tomato juice just to a boil. For softer rice, use more juice. Add one cup of minute rice right from the box. Cover, remove from heat. Because you don't boil minute rice first, every thirsty grain captures all the tomato goodness. And does it so fast, no flavor can steal away. Each lively drop is deep inside those long, tender grains. Cook minute rice in any savory liquid. It will fluff with flavor as no other rice can, because it's the only rice you don't boil first. Flavor gathering minute rice, another fine product of General Foods. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. You know, one of the criticisms of uh, television lately is the tendency to do the same things over and over. So, of course, we try to do something different every week, you know. And tonight, even though this is a comedy show, we have as our guest star the most frightening ruthless, cold-blooded, and meanest individual of all time. And here he is, Mr. Peter Lawrence. Uh, well, Peter, Peter, it's a great pleasure having you on the show. I thought it would be a pleasure too, Jack, but I'm disappointed. You're disappointed? Why? Because, uh, because of the things you said about me. The audience might misunderstand me completely, but it's my fault because, you see, I had written out my own introduction and I forgot to hand it over to you. Oh. Oh, you wrote an introduction for yourself that you wanted me to read, was that it? Oh, gee, that would be nice if you... <laughs> <laughs> this is your own. This is the way you wanted me to introduce you, is that right? All right, I'll read it. It's the first time this has happened to me in about 20 years, I think. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I am proud and happy to present one of the sweetest men in show business. <laughs> A man whose emotional sensibilities are touched equally by the cry of a lost child, <laughs> the chirp of a wounded sparrow, <laughs> or the silent protest of a crushed petunia. <laughs> now, Peter, why in the world would you want me to give you an introduction like that? Because that's the way I really am. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Don't give me that. That's the way you really are. I've seen all of your pictures. I mean, how do you explain those frightening pictures that you've made? It's nothing to explain. You made some pretty frightening ones yourself. <laughs> And if they'd have advertised them that way, they would have made a fortune. <laughs> but anyway, Peter, you know, it seems so funny to me that that you are that you are that kind of a. What's the matter fella. with your finger, Jack? The what? Oh, the fa oh this. Uh, I don't know. This has been kind of bothering me all day today. I don't know what it is. 
I think I have a splinter in it or something. Oh, my, that, that's too bad. But yeah. d don't worry. I'll help you. I'll take it out. <laughs> Wait a minute, Peter. Don't be frightened. I'm not going to hurt but you. But the knife! The knife, uh, it just happened to be in my pocket from my last picture. Well, put it away, will you? All right, I'll put it away. But promise me, no more talk about how mean I am and all these things. You know, I'm touchy about that. Right now, right now, right now. Touchy? What? You are? Well, uh, well what? Right we're now, yeah. I would like to do something, if, with your permission. Yeah, of course. That I've never had a chance to do. Really? What's that? Sing a song. <laughs> A little. And you'd like to sing a song? Well, go ahead. What, what well, are you going to sing? I, I have prepared an old-time favorite of mine, and I hope you'll like it. Oh. Well, go ahead. May I have some music? Yeah, go ahead. I want a girl just like the girl that murdered dear old daddy. She was a goo and the only goo. Peter, I, I, I don't mind. I didn't want that kind of a song on the show. That's all. Now put away that knife. And anyway, when it comes to songs, you see, I, you know, I had a different idea. I made other arrangements. You see. So if you don't mind, we have a singer, and I'd like to introduce her right now but with I, your approval. No. Put that away. I'm only a guest star, I can't say anything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, along with Mr. Peter Laurie, we have as our guest one of the most popular singers in America, Miss Joni Summers. <laughs> Peter, even you will have to admit that Joni Summer sings better than you do. You really think so, huh? <laughs> will you do me a favor and put away that knife? Hey, let me tell you something, Peter, about you and that knife of yours, what it did, it's done to me. You know that ever since we've been rehearsing, I haven't been myself. Uh -huh. I have been a nervous wreck. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, you're glad. Huh? Yeah, I was a nervous wreck. As a matter of fact, last night I had the most awful experience really? just on account of you. What happened? Jack. Jack, we found the perfect man to publicize Jello Gelatin. We flew him all the way here from Manchester, New Hampshire. You found the fellow that I was looking for? That's right. Man? Well, how do you like that? Well, that's a, I didn't think you'd be able to do it. Tell, tell the audience wh wh what your name is. Uh, oh, uh, my name is Mr. E.B. Jello. <laughs> I was looking all over for a fellow by the name of Jello and finally found one. And you spell it the same way we do, don't you? Oh, yes. J E L L O. No, wait, you don't have to sing it. <laughs> well, you must be awfully proud to be named after such a famous product as Jello. Oh, yes. You know, I I'm real proud to be named uh, after a dessert that has that fresh fruit taste in all 12 delicious flavors, including the two new flavors. Mixed fruit and lemon lime. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Mr. Benny, I'd like to thank you very much for bringing me and my wife and my family way out here to California. <laughs> oh, you, you brought your whole family? Yes, brought all four children. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, and Irving. <laughs> understand if your last name is Jello, you know, calling your children Strawberry, Raspberry, and Cherry, but why Irving? Well, we thought we ought to name one of them after my father. <laughs> oh, your father's name was Irving Jello? No, Fred Irving. <laughs> well, if your father's last name was Irving, wouldn't your last name be Irving? Oh, it was, but I changed it to Jello. <laughs> Well, how else could I get you to fly my whole family clear across the country? <laughs> Don, put this chiseler on a bus and send him back to Manchester. And I'll talk to you later. Peter, I'm sorry about that interruption. Um, now... I was telling you about that awful experience. Yes, I had. yes. What happened? Well, you know, you've been making me so nervous at rehearsal with that knife oh. and everything that I had the most terrible dream yes. last night. You were in the dream. You, you know, I've been having a cold the last four or five days, you see. So in this dream, you know, that I dreamt that I went to a doctor's office. Yes, that'll be tomorrow at 3.30. You're welcome. Uh, may I help you, sir? Yes. Uh, I have no appointment with the doctor, but I have a cold, and I was hoping maybe he could see me. I'm sure he will, but that gentleman is ahead of you. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Oh, excuse me. That's all right. By the way, is that today's paper? Huh? Is that today's? Uh, oh, no, no, it isn't, no. Well, I was hoping that they'd... I was wondering if they found that killer yet. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> well, I hope they do pretty soon. You know, he killed six people. Seven. <laughs> no, no, you see, he killed four, and they put him in prison. Then when he escaped, he killed two more. See, that's six, not seven, you know. The day's not over yet. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure he must be behind the bars by now. Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Very well, doctor. I'll send in the next patient. If you're in a hurry, mister, you may go right ahead. I, I don't mind waiting. Oh, well... Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Goodhart. <laughs> Laverne Goodhart. Oh, well, I'm, I'm very glad, glad to know you, Mr. Goodhart, and thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, uh, doctor, I, I was hoping you could see me because I happen to have a bad cold, you hey, know? Hey, you, you come to me for a cold? Apparently, you do not realize that I am Dr. Heinzinger for four years with the Vienna Clinic, six years with the Heidelberg Hospital, three years with the Munich Clinic, and 12 years with the clinic in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, how did you know? I read your ad in the shopping news. <laughs> Didn't you notice that in that bag, it said that I Wait, was... Wait, doctor, get your lab. <laughs> What'd you say, doctor? Didn't you notice that in that ad, it said that I was a plastic surgeon? No, no. A plastic surgeon? No, all I read was that you charge $2 a visit, you see, and you validate parking tickets. <laughs> You do validate parking tickets, don't you? Only if you have your oil changed. <laughs> oil? It's a little deal I've worked out with the parking lot on the corner. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, doctor, how about it? Could you uh, take care of yeah, my... Yeah, coat? I see what I could do. Let's oh, see. Yeah. Now, take off your coat. Okay. And uh, open your shirt. Well, doctor, don't you think it's a little irregular? I mean, for a plastic surgeon to uh, have an ad in the shopping news? Oh, no, no. When I was a liver specialist, I was in the yellow pages. <laughs> Aren't you Jack Benny? Yes, yes. I thought I recognized that face. Are you sure you don't want plastic surgery? <laughs> No, no, I don't. It can only help. <laughs> Look, just take care of my cold. That's all. Oh, all right, all right. Stick out your tongue. Further. <laughs> what did you do to my tongue? I validated it. I always do that in case you lose your parking ticket. <laughs> Well, if I go out to the park, if I stick my tongue out at the attendant, he'll punch me in the nose. Good, good. Then I could do plastic surgery. <laughs> please, just take care of my cold, will yeah, you? All right, all right. Now, uh, cough, please. <coughs> Again, please. <coughs> <laughs> Well, I guess I'll be running along now. I'm sure the doctor will be able to see you in a few minutes. That's all right. Goodbye. Stupid. You've got to turn out her light. <laughs> hey, that last cough was a dilly. <laughs> That would, wasn't me. Would you, would you do it again, please? I didn't cough. That was a gunshot. That's what it was. It was a gunshot. Oh, it was not. Yes, it was. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Goodhart. My name is not Goodhart. It isn't? Hey, I know who you are. This fellow's a murderer. He murdered six people. And he escaped from three different prisons. He just escaped from San Quentin. Uh, how come you know so much about him? I had an ad in a shopping news, too. <laughs> I don't care about your ad. You're a murderer. Now, what's wrong with that? <laughs> now, I have some private business here with a doctor. And as for you, you're going to spend a couple of days in this closet. Uh, I get, I'm only validated for two hours. <laughs> See? 
I won't get in the closet. I want you to get into that wait, closet. Now, wait a minute. Into, into the closet. Get in there. <laughs> now, as for you. But, 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 I am an escaped convict, and I want a new face. Now, as much as I like my own beautiful face, <laughs> at this moment, it's a little inconvenient. I want you to give me a new one. A, a new face? But, 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 but... Come no, on, no. don't waste time. Get working. But, but I... Give me a new face. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, all right, uh, uh, sit, sit down here, please. <laughs> a, a, a new face. Never mind, get working, will you? Oh, boy, this is going to be really a problem. <laughs> let me see now. What kind of a face should I give you? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Doctor? Doctor, where are you? Did you call? Yes, I called. How long before you can take off these stinking bandages? Well, I don't see no reason why they can't come off right now. And for your sake, it better be good. Oh, well, let's see now. We take them off here. Take like that. Now, here. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look on yourself. See how you look. <laughs> you gave me a face like this stupid idiot. <laughs> Shut up in there. How could you give me a face? You gave me a face like that dope in a closet. <laughs> well, 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 he was on my mind, and I, I guess I didn't realize it, but uh, I gave you Jack Benny's face. <laughs> what? You gave me Jack Benny's face? Jack Benny's face? A face that everybody knows? But a face that... Hey, wait a minute. If you give me Jack Benny's face, then all I have to do is kill him. <laughs> and I can live his life. His home will be mine. His money will be mine. And I've always wanted to be a comedian. <laughs> Let me out of here. I have to be at the studio in 20 minutes. You'll be there. Doctor, here's a thousand dollars for the operation. Oh, no, no, but my fee is usually only five hundred dollars. I don't care. Take it. Oh, no, I couldn't. Please take the thousand dollars. You did a good Gee, job. A thousand dollars? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, boy, a thousand dollars. <laughs> Wouldn't have killed him for only five hundred. <laughs> hmm. Look what time it is. If I'm Jack Benny, I'd better get to the studio. <laughs> Stupid. Forgot to turn out the lights. Gentlemen, and welcome to my show. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the nearsighted snake that fell in love with a garden hose? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Why didn't you laugh? <laughs> That's a funny joke. Why aren't you laughing? I didn't come out here to be insulted. <laughs> laugh at me when I tell a joke. When I tell a joke, laugh at me. I'll give you one more chance. Did you hear the one about the giraffe that came home late from a date? 
because his girlfriend was a long necker. Jack, 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 what's happened to you? Stop you interrupting me in the middle of my show. But you look so strange, and something's happened to your voice, Jack. Nothing has happened to my voice. My voice is beautiful, and I don't like these interruptions. <laughs> you died lousy. <laughs> and I don't like your attitude either. Everybody. Keep the cameras back. I don't want any close-ups. Keep me back. Take the camera back. Take it back. I don't want any <laughs> I want everybody to laugh at me. When I tell a joke, I want to laugh. Even one of State Farm's careful driver customers can have an accident when gravity's against him. You goof. Now comes the acid test. Was your brother-in-law right? Does low-cost insurance mean poor protection when you have a claim? No, sir, not with the world's largest car insurer. You don't give up a thing to get State Farm's low rates. Rates that may save money for one out of two car owners. Can you qualify? Call your State Farm agent. He's in the yellow pages. Think of saving $10, $20, 30 or more on car insurance. Careful drivers called State Farm Insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank Peter Laurie and Joni Summers for being in my dream. And I'll be seeing you soon. program has been brought to you by Jell-O with new fresh fruit taste another fine product of General Foods